Hey everybody, welcome back to Jessica's Reading Room. My name is Kim and we are here with something as I drop stuff on the floor so much for that intro, we are doing something a little different today. Normally we are really all about books with some movies and TV shows thrown in, but we are all about everything nerdy and geeky here at Jessica's Reading Room. So we are going to try something different. A little redundant to say it twice, but that's okay. You know what? Because usually we wing it whenever we do these videos anyway. So today we are going to try reviewing a video game. Oh, I know. That's crazy. Because I am a gamer. My husband is a gamer. I know Jessica's husband really enjoys games. And who knows? We may even have some of you who enjoy gaming too. And But because we're so busy talking about books, we never talk about games. Oh, what? That's so sad. So we're going to remedy that. We had a little bit of overlap when we were talking about The Tenth Girl. Yeah, you remember that that book review where I yelled a lot? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that kind of awokened my gamer spirit. And I actually played this game that Ivan got me for my birthday. And it was actually one of those games where he enjoyed sitting and watching me play as opposed to I played on the PlayStation and he played on the Xbox. And after I was finished, he was like, you know, maybe you should try reviewing that for the book blog. And I said, okay. So I messaged Jessica. I said, what would you think about me reviewing a video game? She said, why don't you try it? So I said, okay. So in an unprecedented event in the history of Jessica's reading room, we have our first ever video game, A Plague Tale Innocence. I see, I wanted to say A Plague Tale Innocence and then give an author, but like I said, this is unprecedented. We are in new territory. We are in the undiscovered country. <laughs> okay, whoo. Oh my gosh, guys, quarantine has not had a very good effect on Kim at all, at all. Okay, so A Plague Tale Innocence takes place in 15th century France. Um, basically, the overall story is that Amicia and her brother Hugo are being pursued by a group of religious fanatics known as the Inquisition. Why? Well, there's something very weird about Hugo. He's only about five years old, but Amicia never saw him or her own mother because they were always holed up with Amicia's mother trying to figure out how to help Hugo, um, try to figure out what was going on with Hugo. She was a big alchemist, so she was using all of her alchemical knowledge again, to try and figure out what was going on. And while all this is happening, um, their family estate had been attacked. Her father, their father had been killed. They don't know what happened to their mother. But while all this is happening throughout the countryside, a plague has sprung up. And yes, it is being carried by rats. The rats actually hate light of any kind. So that's like the only thing when you've got a whole bunch of rats around you, the only thing that will keep you safe is light. So this is, I mean, for crying out loud, let's put quarantine aside for a second, okay? As soon as I saw this video trailer, I was like, because that's historical. And you know I'm all about some historical. All right, you got, you know this. And I was like, dude, plus it's got that little bit of like a horror element. So I was like, dude. So I said, I said, do you know anything about this? He said, no, but let's get it and try it. And what's interesting is that it is not open world. It is very linear, but, and excuse me, you're going to have to I'm sure there are terms for all these, but I'm not that big of a gamer that I can, I mean, I barely remember what the, what it's not RPG. Is it RPG? I don't even know. See, that's the thing. I'm just, the best I can do is, oh my gosh, first or third person shooter. Though I do remember what DLC means, downloadable content. <laughs> that's, that's weird because if we did this like 10 minutes from now, I'd be like, oh my gosh, what does DLC mean? So I'm not going to pretend to sit here and be able to give you all the little technical terms of the game. So I'm sorry. Listen, I just enjoy gaming. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be some kind of a professional gamer because that's not what I am. 
Um, but anyway, it is very linear, but it's one of those games where you don't break out into all out fighting. We're not talking about Assassin's Creed. We're not talking about Red Dead Redemption. Um, it's very strategic. You're doing a lot of strategizing. I know that with me, because I like playing stuff on easy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie and tell you that I love playing stuff on hard because I don't, because that's, I don't do that. I'm not, I don't, I don't game to challenge myself. I game to have a good time. I haven't always makes fun of me for it. So I played this game on easy. So I was like, okay, all right, I can handle that if I want, if I decided to go back and replay it again, which I probably will because I play games to death. I'll probably up the difficulty to see, you know, how I can do with it. But what's interesting is, um, is that while it is very lin linear, it's not always completely obvious where you're supposed to be going. So it, at multiple stages throughout this entire game, I'm, you know, dying over and over again because I'm exploring where I'm supposed to be going with everything, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, but it's, I mean, it, it can be very slow. It's not, like I said, it is not an Assassin's Creed game where if you wanted to, you could just go running headlong into a fight and you can just, you know, hand to hand combat your way out of it. That's not what this is at all. It's very stealth based. There are most of the times when you are literally crawling, crawling through a room, trying not to alert anyone to your presence which normally I don't do those. I mean, I'm the kind of person where I legit, I'm just a, I'm a brawler, okay? In, in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I'm always playing as Jacob and I suck at stealth. And so I'm just the one who like runs up and if I assassinate them, great. If not, then I'll just stand there and fight all of them at one time. That's just how I am. Um, but I have to say, I actually really enjoyed the stealth portion. Um, it's, Slow to me isn't exactly the correct word. Um, like I said, it's very stealthy. Um, but I just lost my train of thought where I was going with that. Oh, that's right. It's, whoo, you guys. Um, the anticipation factor is actually there. Um, you know, because you never know exactly what's going to happen. There were, there were multiple times through this game where I'm like sneaking around and trying to get stuff. And then all of a sudden, like somebody moves or a rat jumps out and I scream so loud. And Ivan's just sitting there laughing at me. And I was like, shut up. It was a rat. And it was scary. Okay. So the anticipation, it's very slow burn and believe me when it get, like, gets scary you it who who um this did not this game actually did not take me very long to get through um but you can't it's definitely one where you can sit and just play through for hours but if you do that you'll actually finish it relatively quickly like I said I actually divided it up um, between multiple evenings so Ivan could actually watch me play it and working at about an hour and a half a night maybe a little longer um, I'd say it took maybe a week to do around that um, so honestly I think this would be good for just about any kind you know any any gamer the difficulty wasn't that bad like I said it took a lot of strategy there was a lot of stealth um, not tons of open you know, open fighting, but overall it was really good. The story was excellent. And I hear that there's going to be a sequel, which I would love because the ending is very open-ended. Um, the characterizations, I really love the voice actors. They all had French accents, which I have to say, normally I'm not a real big like French accent kind of person. That's just, I, I would rather listen to like a Russian, but I found their voices and their accents incredibly soothing. I know that's kind of weird sounding, but I did. It just, I don't, I don't know. I just enjoyed listening to them. The story was great. The gameplay I really enjoyed. So actually, I think I would give this, are we going to stick with, I guess we'll stick with a four star rating, like since we do that with books too. I'd say I'd give it like a four, maybe 4.5 stars out of five. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. There you go. Uh, yes, so there's our first video game review. Let me know if you liked it. If you've got any gaming suggestions down in the comments, let me know. Tell us what you thought of this. If you'd like to hear more about games that I've played, we'd love to hear from you.
So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.